Hey folks, so today we want to take a few minutes to go through an important topic that I think every trader and investor should be aware of, and that is how do you keep or remain exposure to a stock or an ETF that you like, but at the same time take profits on a more short-term basis. And um, we find this is one of the major struggles that people have. And so what we've developed is something called a bucket system where we have buckets of different time horizons and we clearly adhere to the time frames of those different time horizons. So this is something we do in our inner circle membership all the time. In fact, there we do, we do day trades, we do swing trades, and we do long-term investments all in very separated uh, uh, time frames. But to get to the point of what I want to explain, there might be a situation where, I'm gonna to flip to the chart, you have a stock that you really like. For example, in our case, we happen to like Johnson & Johnson. For the long term, we think healthcare makes sense in this environment of a weakening dollar. Um, not to mention the bigger picture uh, uh, environment around this this kind of uh, this kind of a name, and you know it's kind of had a long base. The stock's basically not done anything since 2018, and it's now like looking like it wants to break out. So we like this stock. We've owned it for a bit, and we don't really want to get rid of it. So we put this in one bucket. And we, in our case, we call this a bucket number three. But at the same time, there might be an opportunity where in the short term, we may want to do some more near-term trades around this same stock. And so one of the things that we like to do, and I'm gonna again show you this with an exact example, um, we will then s treat that position in a separate bucket we call bucket number two, which is our swing trade. So for example, one of the things that we're doing right now is we're putting on a, a shorter term bullish trade. So on top of the long-term positions we have, we're putting on a shorter term bullish trade um, in this particular stock by selling what's called a bullish credit spread. We think the stock may go a little bit higher, but it could also gyrate a little bit. So we're completely separating the stock from the long-term holding when we do these near-term options trades. At the same time, let's assume for a minute that maybe the stock starts rallying up to the one mid 160s, maybe the high 160s, just as an example. And let's say we want to take some profits. Well, one thing you could do is you certainly could take some profits in the long-term positions, but what we know empirically is that timing your long-term positions is very, very difficult. So rather what we might then do is we might go into the into our bucket two swing trades and go ahead and maybe short the stock, buy a put, do something on the something bearish with the option side um, in a shorter term time frame. So that's how you can, you know, remain exposure in your long term bullish view, or in our case, our long term bullish view on this particular stock, but at the same time in a completely different bucket, still do stuff around that trade without touching the core allocation. Because we find that if you start to tinker too much with your long-term asset allocation, you you know, aside from potentially dollar cost averaging, if the stock were to drop, you buy more, right? That kind of thing. But aside from that, from, from tinkering with your long-term portfolio too much, or in this case, a long-term position too much, you end up kind of confusing yourself, you end up going in and, and you know, buying at the wrong time, selling at the wrong time, when really the long-term allocation is really more there for the longer term view. So this is just how we uh, separate our, our, our buckets, our, our time frames on, 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 on an underlying position that we like. And I hope this is helpful, folks. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.